Hi, I'm Rachel Brown. Um, I am in show production here at Full Sail University. And last time I talked about um, a self-assessment of myself as a public speaker and um, some of my strengths, some of my weaknesses, things like that. And now it's been a couple weeks since that one. And I've been able to go through all the information through the textbook for public speaking and all the videos and everything we covered over this course. And now I'm going to do a second assessment of myself and see kind of where I land for that one. Um, thinking back to the other one, the two strengths that I mentioned that I thought I had were having a lot of ideas and having a lot of content to be able to put into a presentation. And that still sticks with me. When we were doing the group presentation, um, I knew exactly what I wanted to say. And if people were stuck, I could kind of guide them in the right direction um, with with a new perspective. So I still think that's a strength for me. Um, also, was the other one was enthusiasm. And I still can get excited about something. And, and when I am excited about something, I want others to be excited about it. So I think I convey that really well. Um, last time I mentioned that my work, especially working for Disney, helps with that, which still remains true. <laughs> you still have to be upbeat and peppy um, all, all the time. So that helps with that as well. Two of my weaknesses that I mentioned last time were, even though I have so much, so many ideas, that things can get a little chaotic and that I can be a little unorganized. Uh, throughout this month, I've actually had a chance to set up a couple presentations and work on that a little bit. I found myself able to, to plan a presentation a lot quicker and a lot more seamlessly through the things I've learned through this course and get that organization down and understand exactly what it takes to put all of that together. So I think in a way I have I have improved on that. There's always room for more improvement. So I'm excited to keep to keep learning and to keep practicing because practice makes perfect. Um, I definitely I definitely want to get my organizational skills for public speaking and presentation down to an art form because if I am not prepared or I, I seem unorganized, no one's really going to take me seriously. I think it's important to have your thoughts organized in your head while also on paper to convey your message clearly. I think clarity in that communication is a huge piece of being organized and a huge piece of public speaking in general. Um, one of my other, uh, excuse me, one of my other weaknesses was conclusions. And I said I stumbled over them usually. I usually just kind of muddled through until the end. And I still struggle with those a little bit. I have learned a few techniques throughout public speaking this course um, to get a little better at it and to learn the best ways to summarize and to tie all your ends together before you close out a presentation. So hopefully I can use some of that for this video. Um, I, I have noticed an improvement when I did the group presentation. I, um, I knew exactly how I wanted to tie my piece off before passing it along and it, it seemed to, to pass on to my, my other group member pretty well and pretty seamlessly, so that was a plus for me there. Um, one other thing that I learned this month that I think will help continue my improvement in public speaking is that everyone's scared of it. Everyone's a little nervous. Everyone has some kind of anxiety. And so when it comes down to it, you know, if we're all scared of the same thing, then I guess there's not really a thing to be scared of. So that definitely helped me throughout the month to get through it. So all in all, this course has definitely helped me. Uh, become a better a better public speaker and just a communicator in general. I have a lot of strengths that I've found and some weaknesses and I can work on both because improvement is always moving forward. So I think that's a great thing. I'm excited to take what I've learned here and put it into my professional life when I go out into the industry after graduation and I hope it carries me away. So thanks for listening.